Hey guys, welcome to this small video on how to set up FSLab with the Throttle Tech A320 Flight Box. There's a couple steps we have to do in order to set up the throttle before, sorry, after calibrating the throttle. So please go check the tutorial about calibration and now we're going to start out on the setup. First thing is first, we have to do some uh, house cleaning here within uh, Proprietary D. So you have to go to options, then to controls. And in controls, you have to check that it says throttle tech one. So you see controls throttle tech one. And the first thing you have to do is go through all of the assignments within Proprietary 3D to make sure there's not a joystick controller assignment set from another controller or when you connect a new unit, uh, by default, Proprietary 3D assigns uh, different uh, key or uh, controls into the into the hardware so a lot of people you know they start um they start uh, saying that the, the throttle doesn't work it activates other things it's not that it's just that by default it will set up things so see we checked there's nothing here so in case you have something uh, set up the, the way to take it off it's you click on it press delete and that should uh take that the control out of the simulator out of the part 3d Okay, so after that, we have to go to Axis Assignments. Okay, here in Axis Assignments, what we're gonna do is assign each axis from the controller. So in this case, Engine 1, Throttle Axis, we do is very simple. We click on it, and we just it says there, move the joystick you want to assign. So this is what we're gonna do. We move the thrust levers, and it says Z axis there. So once that is done, we press OK, and that's it. Do the same with the engine tube. Press OK. We go for the flaps. Use the flaps. Move the flaps handle. That's it. And then we go and check for the speed brake. So spoiler access, click on it, and there it is. Okay, so we have set up all the axes from the controller in, within Proprietary 3 d and then we have to go to calibration. This is a very important step. Here you have to make sure sensitivities, all sensitivities at, are full, and the nose zones are at one. This is very, very important step. Don't forget about this step, guys. This makes the five box work with the uh, with the FS labs. So, okay, once that is done, we're done. Uh, we're through, and that's it. Press OK, and then we you know just try them out. Yep, they're working. They're moving, and we're done. Okay, let's check the next part uh, of this series of videos. Okay guys, so continuing with the videos for the FS Labs A320 setup with the flight box from Throttle Tech. So in order to make FS Labs work with, um, with our throttle, we need a series of FS UIPC macros. These macros were made by Mr. Lars Jost. Thank you so much uh, to him for making these macros. These macros, uh, there's a very nice tutorial on how to do macros in, um, in the forums. I'll let the... I'll, I'll put the link here in the video so you guys can check it out. I already copied some of them, so we're gonna you know, we're gonna copy the new ones he sent me, which is the wheel forward and wheel reverse. Some macros he made for the for the trim wheels. So we're gonna copy the files. The files have to go to whatever you have uh, prepared 3D install. So you go to Lockheed Martin, prepared 3D before, and then you go to modules and you paste them. As you can see, I already have some of the macros here. They're already there, so I installed the new ones there. And now we're gonna see how we set it up. 